Um, actually, if you, I don't know if you read the title, it's quite uh, long today, right? Uh, the player team which realized, which of uh, in, in its life, the mission to save the multi groups. Uh, today, our sister Sally uh, played really well. Why I'm saying this, I don't want to give her glory, but uh, it's really important to us that when we pray, and even when we are living our lives, to follow the word of God. So she was praying about last week's message, even for the church, and for uh, the ministry, for all of you, and also uh, for the worship. Um, can the human being uh, be completely happy? What do you think? Can the human being, the human being, can the man be happy? Completely happy, truly happy. In every moment? Even hardships come to you? How about your life? Are you completely happy? You should say, Amen. 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 Uh, why I'm saying this, uh, I met uh, someone this week, uh, a believer. Uh, she's a Christian for a long time, but uh, talking with her, she confessed, uh, I'm not completely happy. Not only that, but she also thinks, being a Christian, that a human being cannot be completely happy. Uh, I told her, I'm sorry, but I'm fully happy inside of Christ. Amen? Amen. Uh, it means I don't need other things, right? Uh, if this Christ is complete with you, it means you don't need other things. If this Christ is not for you, it means you don't need other things. For me, inside of Christ, I, I can have all the happiness that I need. Uh, if you are not truly really happy, if you couldn't find this happiness inside of Christ, but you try to evangelize, uh, I can't tell you in advance you can fail. Why? How are you going to evangelize if you are not even happy? If you don't even have the answer to your life, how are you going to set the answer to others? I really pray today you can find also that answer. Why the human beings are, are unhappy? There is three reasons. There is three reasons why human beings are not happy. Uh, why unhappiness comes to the human being? Why problems come to the human being? We must go to the fundamental problem. We must go back. We was created for being with God, but the problem is we don't know God. Human being was created with, as a spiritual being for being in a relationship with God. But what is the problem? We don't know God. Why? We are separate. For all have seen the foresword uh, of the glory of God. What it means? We are supposed to be with God. Inside of that relationship we can be truly happy. But the human being who was created for being with God, completely that relationship was broke out, was a broke. Then conclusion they get separated. So even if we try to meet God by ourselves, we cannot meet God by ourselves. So that's why happiness is not coming to us. This is the first reason. If we don't solve this problem of the sin, we cannot meet God. That's the second reason. The sin. If we don't solve this problem of the sin, we cannot meet God. You can go to the field and meet someone and say, uh, some even people say, but I'm a good person. I don't, I'm, I don't think I make a sin. I think I was right. Uh, even not believing God is a, is a sin. Those who believe in God, if you have a little bit of uh, hate to one brother or sister, that's also a sin. If you are jealous to someone, that's also a sin. We, it's impossible for us, for our lives, to live our lives without uh, sin. Continue we are making sin. That's why God sent Jesus Christ to finish with all our sins on the cross. What we couldn't finish, He already finished. All the curses, the sins, already broke down on the cross. If you believe in Jesus, these two things become solved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except from me. So through Jesus Christ, we can be God. In other words, with our relationship with Jesus Christ, we can know who is God. Because He's the way. Christ came and paid and died on the cross 
for all your sins from the past, present, and future. There is no condemnation in your life, no anymore. He already finished on the cross all your sins, even the sins that you're going to make next year. Many Christians know this until here. Oh, if you know, if you believe in Jesus, you already these two problems are solved. Many people believe in this. But why am I happy? That person sees a Christian for a long time. But she confessed, I'm not happy, and I don't think human being can be truly happy. I'm the only one who I found this answer. I'm sorry, but I, I can't say I'm truly happy. I really pray that you can have this happiness inside of you. If you have this happiness with you, for sure you will share happiness to others. If you have jealous envy inside of your heart, you will share envy to others. If you have complaints inside of your heart, you will share complaints. I really pray all of you that at least today restore this happiness inside of your heart. Only through Jesus Christ is that possible. That's why the center of the worship is always Christ in our lives. Uh, if the human being, uh, we was created for being happy. Why people think that we are, I'm unhappy? Why people think that human being cannot be truly happy? Let's think about it. Do you think God created us for being unhappy? Really logical, right? If you really believe in God, do you think God created God create all things but create the human being as the most precious thing. Just think about it. I will create all of this, but this human being, I will create it as I am. I'm as my own image. How precious he created us. I create all things, but only to this thing, I will give a spirit so I can be with them and communication with them continually. How precious is that? Amen. Like my own being, image, right? Amen. So do you think, if God created us in that way, do you think God created us to be unhappy? Of course not, right? Something was happening. Human being completely lost his own image, lost his identity. That's why they become separate, they become a sinner. And to hear many Christians know this. But even that, why problems keep coming to me? Why I'm suffering? Why I'm uh, having this uh, unbelief and um, unhappiness in my life? There is something that will bring you this unhappiness. This is what they are missing. This is what you must realize really quickly. There is something that will bring you unhappiness. That Satan, that's the demons or the spirits. If you believe in Jesus, of course, you can meet God again. The problem of the sin is solved, but this authority who is working in there, it reminds. There is something that will bring you this unhappiness, that's it. This is why 1 John 3, 8, the reason why the Son of God came was to destroy Satan's work. The reason why the Son of God came was to open the way to meet God. To finish with your problem of the sin from the past, present, and future. In that way, He completely changed your destiny. You must realize really quickly. Believing Jesus Christ already finished these three things. But you must be awake continually. Spiritually, you must be awake. If not, it's really easy to fall inside of this snare continually. Then, look at how Satan is working. Christians who are supposed to have the answer to the world. Christians who are supposed to be the salt, who are supposed to be the light of the world. I don't think human beings can be happy. That's the conclusion. Already, Satan has the victory. Before you go to the field to evangelize, if you are thinking they, they, people cannot be truly happy, how are you going to set the gospel? This unhappiness, knowing or without knowing, are bringing from someone. That's the evil spirits working, Satan's working. When Jesus Christ, he, these three problems completely finished, but this authority is keep working in the earth. It's keep, it's, it's, uh, this authority is keep working around us. That's why God uh, say, that's why Jesus say, don't worry, I will be with you. All authority in earth and in heaven is with me. Don't worry, just go and make disciples. 
Why? I will be with you. It's okay. Why Jesus say, I, I have the authority in heaven and in heaven? And why he say, I will, give, I will give to you and be with you? To use it. I already pray today you can start to use this authority. Then I'm sure you will, even problems come, you will not be decided by Satan. Do you remember last week's message? It's the reason uh, for prayer. The reason to pray. Do you find it put this answer in your life? I found this one. What is the reason why you must pray? Do you find this answer? If you don't pray, uh, if you don't know this fact and you don't pray, darkness will overcome all your life. With a knowing, I'm in the middle of darkness. Already when we are going to the work, when we are going to study, already there is many darkness in there. If you are not awake spirituality, darkness will overcome you. This is the reason why you must pray in the name of Jesus. Uh, if you... Why I found the reason of prayer here? Acts 1.8. What is that? But you will receive power when the feel of the Holy Spirit it comes upon you. Then you will be my witness. Right? And to the end of the earth. When you are filled of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I was... Uh, I remember meditating on the world when I was in Spain. Before I came to Korea, I was also quite young, in high school. Uh, one day was a birthday of one of my friends. As you know, I was playing soccer, right? So one of our team members was his birthday. So Friday night, we went to drink something in a bar. Uh, I didn't enjoy that much the gospel in that moment. We were just having some fun uh, with my friends, right? Just uh, five or six other men. And we was just drinking something and talking. And we was just talking in the bar, but over there, we was able to see a few girls. Like, pretty girls, you know? Uh, one of my friends started to say, hey, look at the girls. They are really pretty. Let's go and talk with them. He's talking to my other friend. Let's go, go and say something to, to them. They are also pretty. Then my friend, uh, what he said, oh, I think it's too early. I think I need to drink a few more <laughs> drinks, then maybe I will be go. I see, this friend is quite shy. So if I, I, for me it's really hard to me to go, he was saying, it's really hard to me to go and talk with them straight. I think I need to, to drink a little bit more, then uh, I will be able to do it. He's talking about alcohol, right? Uh, what is the reason to you to pray? Uh, in other words, what are you feeling your life of? This friend, if he drinks a little bit more, it's, if he, in other words, he's saying, if I drink a little bit more alcohol, I will receive the strength to go and talk with them. Now is it possible for me, because I'm tired. But if I drink a little bit more, I will go. He's saying that, right? People are receiving power and strength from other things. God gives us the power to be a witness to the end of the earth. Something really amazing. The question is, what are you feeling your life of? Are you feeling your life of the Holy Spirit? When you feel your life of the Holy Spirit, then you will receive the power. People are receiving power from alcohol. Then I will be able to do this. There is many students, they are eating medicine to be concentrated even more. If I drug myself, I will not sleep all night, so I will keep studying all night. There's many people studying like this in the college. What are you feeling your life of? God give us uh, the greatest blessing that we can receive. Those who believe, those who accept Him, we have the righteousness to become a child of God. There is a blessing given only to the child of God. 1 Corinthians 3.16 
So you know that you yourself are God's temple and that, and that God's spirit lives in you? Really, God's spirit is inside of you. Fill your life with that spirit. Acts 1 8. When you fill your life with this spirit, then you will receive the power to go to the nations, to go to the Philippines and give answer. I pray of you can receive also this answer. Which kind of prayer then we must do? Really, people are filling their lives with other things. They are receiving power for all, from other things. They are living their lives without answer. What are you filling your life of? If you really this Jesus Christ is complete and enough for you, I'm sure you can find the answer of true happiness. Then which kind of prayer uh, you must have? It's the content of prayer. It's really important to us to pray only with the gospel. Why? People com completely fall inside of Satan's snares. Completely. Continually. There are people when they face a problem, they don't go back to Christ. Really, Jesus Christ is the answer to all your problems? Amen? Is really Jesus Christ the answer to all your problems? Doesn't matter how big is the problem? Amen? Amen? Of course, Christ is bigger than any problem, right? Mm. So when we are facing a problem, why do we look for other things? If Christ is the answer, when we face a problem, we must go inside Christ. Amen? Amen? Because nothing is bigger than Christ. Amen. I really pray to have this kind of grace with you continually. Why problems come to your life? If really God is in on control of your life, if really you are a child of God and, the, and you are temple of the Holy Spirit, it means the Holy Spirit, God himself is inside of you, then why problems come to you? I'm sure if really God is in control of everything, God is allowing the problems to come to you. Why? He wants to train you. He wants you to be a witness. You cannot be a witness without nothing. It's the content. So don't pray with the problem, pray with the gospel. What is God's plan in South this? Many people start to do the uh, repentance prayer. As I'm talking with many people, uh, I think many people have misunderstanding about this. What is this kind of prayer, repentance prayer? God doesn't want you to, say, to keep holding on to your mistake and say and keep praying sorry 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 lord that's not repent repentance prayer don't misunderstand this many believers misunderstand this bible talk about this repent and then you will go to heaven many people think, think, think it that way but actually if you don't solve this problem doesn't matter how kind you are doesn't matter how good person you are you will not go to heaven the answer to these three problems is Jesus Christ. When you believe in Jesus Christ, from that moment everything finishes. Of course we make mistakes. So then, what is repentance prayer? Why we should repent? You must understand really well what is repent, repent uh, prayer. Repentance prayer is not hold on to your mistake and keep praying saying sorry about that. Then, if you keep doing that, every time that I make a mistake, I hold on to my mistake, and saying, sorry, Lord, I'm like this, I really like this, I'm sorry, I'm a sinner. If you keep praying like this, you are going to lose your hair continually. How much stress is that? If you could really con con continually pray for your uh, mistakes. Other people think, because my mistake, God punish me. Put, uh, punish me. God is not that kind of God. God is the love. We were sinner, we was lost in, in, in the middle of this destiny, but God sent his own son to save us. Then what is repentance uh, repentance uh, prayer? I should live in this way. But from one moment my life was going this way. Then going back, that's repentance. Christ is showing the way. 
to live in this way. He said, here there is everything. My life should go this way. But for one moment, I was living in this way. Realize that and say, okay, go back to Christ. That's repentance. It's not about hold your mistake and keep praying about that. In other words, repentance prayer is go back to Christ. Really. Don't be too much sorry for your mistakes. Just realize that. I shouldn't do this anymore. And go back to Christ. Amen. If you don't understand this, if you don't understand this uh, really quick, it's really easy for Satan to make you fall into my snare. Really easy. Look at those. And, and you can say you are a pastor, and you can say you are a believer, you can say you are a team leader, you can now even do this. Really easy for Satan to make you think like this. Oh, because I make this mistake, say God punish me. Because I make this mistake, God is not answering me. All of this is Satan's snare. Really easy. You must understand this really well and I start to enjoy the prayer who contains the gospel. Even I was living like this, even my life is like this. Thank you God because you sent Christ as my answer. Thank you God because you love me, you love me and make me realize that I was living in this way but I was completely wrong. Now I want to go back to Christ. Amen. If you don't understand this, you will completely fall continually in, the, in uh, my snare. This snare will not allow you to enjoy the blessing of our believer. They are the blessings that already you receive. If you don't realize this, not only my snare, but even our snare. About our ministry about us. It will block, uh, if you don't realize this, it will block you continually to enjoy oneness, first of all with me, and also with the ministry. Always it looks like I'm alone. Always it looks like everyone is saying something to me. Our snare. Of course, you will fall into the field snare. Because you don't have your own answer. If you don't pray with the gospel, darkness will overcome you. Only with the words of the Holy Spirit, you can be free from this. Only with the work of the Holy Spirit, you can be free from these snares. So I really pray that really enjoy the meaning of repentance prayer. Go back to Christ. Because inside there, there is everything. This is why it's really important to us to raise a system. The system is connected with teams. That's why uh, the title today, the prayer team which realize, which uh, realize relate our uh, missions to save the multi groups. I really pray and bless all of you to become part of this team. Uh, this Tuesday, Pastor Rio came to Tegu and said this, how can we start? How can we start to do this? He was giving us the answer in Acts 1.14. What is this? All people gathering together in the same place on prayer. talking about healing. When we are gathering together in place on prayer, it means these people were people who was having the same heart. They were enjoying oneness. That's why they were praying all together. So they were able to heal the church, to heal individuals. really receive this answer. Together in one place of prayer. With the same heart, with the same uh, commission. I would like to raise this kind of movement 
in each school also. I will talk about that later. And what happened later? After this, the answer of ads to, it comes to them. They were just gathering together in the same place for the sake of the gospel and word of season, with the same heart, same direction. When they were gathering together on prayer, the word of the Holy Spirit started to arise, Pentecost. In other words, after that day, they was able to change the flow. Wherever they go, they get scattered to 15 nations. They was going, preaching the gospel. Happiness and uh, peace was around uh, the field. In other words, the field who was inside of these snares, inside of this spiritual problem, they was able to start to give the answer. Completely start to change, change the culture, change, uh, change the culture and, ch and change uh, the field. So what is change this flow? It's change the flow of the darkness to, the, to uh, the, the culture of the darkness, to the culture of light. It's the words of the Holy Spirit. So how can we start? Let's start to do it in this, in this way. Why we gather uh, by teams? Why we have Bible study in Yunnan University, Tebu University, Tebu Catholic University? Why we are doing this? Change the flow. Really receive this answer. So how can we start? Just start to do it this. With the same heart, with the same prayer. So make teams to do this. We have Tebu University. We have Temu Catholic University, we have uh, Yunnan University. How can we start to do this? Actually, that's uh, my mission. Uh, today, I, uh, I have to talk about our mission. What is your mission. Do you found this? We keep talking about these 21 secrets. Today is our mission. I don't know if you are, are doing, uh, fulfilling the mission really well, but for me, I don't have other missions. Just Second Timothy 2.2, two. really easy to memorize, right? And the things you have heard and seen in the presence of many witnesses in trust to reliable men who will also qualify to teach others. It's disciples movement. That's my mission. How, what can I do? I met the college uh, students here, our remnants who are attending these schools. I just told them one thing. For me, it's really hard to go to the field. Why? I have to study, I have to do many Bible studies. I don't have really long time to go inside of this field to save the field. But you guys are attending there every day. Be, uh, go there with that kind of, of, of eyes. Because I cannot go. Go instead of me. Just make friends with all the people. It's raising disciples. Because I cannot go there continually. Because I cannot go there for my whole life. I must raise disciples. You will understand better with the conclusion. Now in Korea, 3.4% of the population are foreigners in Korea right now. They say in a few years, it's going to be 10% of the population foreigners. It means between 100 people, 10 persons are going to be foreigners in Korea, right? From this year, we are starting the second uh, movement of RUTC. Pastor Ryu is already giving the answers about our uh, multi-ethnic, right? That means jobs. Do you know what foreigners would like the most when they come to Korea? They would like to know 
They like to experience Korean culture. They come to Korea, they want to make Korean friends. There's many foreigners that they don't want to meet other foreigners because they want to learn the language, they want to learn the culture. They just want to work around uh, with Koreans. So many of them even ask me, how did you learn Korean? I told them, oh, you know, I was living in a mission home with Korean people. They really envy me. Because <laughs> I was living in the Chungmung right? With uh, Korean people. So that's why I improved my Korean a lot. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing well also. Foreigners want to experience this culture. These days, foreigners are coming to Korea for a study. Two years, three years, five years. During seven years, even some of them, they're going to be here in Korea studying. It's really a good chance, right? They just arrived in Korea, and they're going to be here for seven years. How about if they met in the school one of our learners from the beginning? For seven years, this person is going to be connected with us with the flow for world evangelization, right? So can you imagine a little bit? the works that God will start to arise. If this foreigner came to Korea, it's going to be here for seven years, I start to meet someone like my friends in Spain. So during seven years, they will start to go, go and keep drinking alcohol and <laughs> going around, right? The first meeting, I think, is really important. Uh, Many people, why I'm saying this, many people want to be evangelists, but not many people go to the field for evangelists. Many people want to be used by God, but no many people do what really God desires to do. Many people say, I pray, but not many people go to the field for prayer. What is this week's mission? Start to restore this. Go uh, to the field and pray. Most of you are attending a school. Most of you have your own uh, field. I used just to go for a study, or I used to go just for work. But just once per week, don't go for a study. Don't go because I have to go to the office, but I'm just going in the, to my uh, class area, I'm going to my school just for prayer. Start to do this. Knowing this, that the feel is inside of this, the feel is inside of this, and enjoying this kind of prayer. Just go in for a, and, and pray for a few seconds. If you do that just at least once per week, it's enough. For me, even I'm busy, Every week, I'm trying to run these fields. At least 30 minutes. Even I'm busy. Just go, stop there, and pray a little bit, walk around. If I meet someone, meet someone, and come back. Second thing, these days uh, in our church, uh, the flow and the atmosphere is completely changing during the Friday service. Even our pastor is talking about that. We was also learning about deep uh, breathing. Something that really uh, helped us. Not only uh, physically, but also because we have this time of deep breathing, we just go and also pray. If you can restore this prayer in the service, I'm, I'm, I'm sure maybe some of you, because you have class, you cannot join. But those who are free on Fridays uh, night, around 7.30, Eight. We will have this uh, Friday service already. Or uh, Yemu, Kelvin, also our brother Pascal, uh, they are enjoying the, fr the Friday service. It's going to be translated in English continually. Uh, anyways, we don't pray. Just come to church at least to Friday service and pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, really pray that all of you can be a maker of this prayer team. The prayer team who fulfill the missions, the prayer team who fulfill uh, the word of God in the field. Who apply, sorry. God fulfill, you apply.
Uh, then I'm sure uh, mutated groups uh, will start to test uh, salvation of the mutated groups will start to arise also through us. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for your grace. Uh, completely bless uh, all of us to become uh, the disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you because instead of Jesus Christ we can find all the answers to our lives. Enjoying this true happiness, let us share this true happiness into the field who are dying in the middle of the fundamental problem. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.